Hello, greetings again. Ann Sieg here with 21 Suggestions for Success, and we are now into suggestion number nine. Ouch. Ouch. This one I don't score very highly on. Mm, I had to put my hand down. This one, no, don't have this one nailed. I did, however, once upon a time. So let's go ahead and read it aloud here. Discipline yourself to save money on even the most modest salary. So this takes us back to an entire different era in the history of, uh, definitely in the history of the US, the United States, is we once upon did do this, we had to do it because there wasn't the ability to borrow money that we have had in the last, oh well, however many decades and now that's all changed because we've all gotten a really Boom, hard, swift kick in the fanny because our country now finds itself into a $17 trillion debt. So goes the family, so goes the nation. When we vote in people who don't have these mental disciplines, it's really oftentimes a reflection of ourselves. And I'm not trying to go into government and politics, but hey, it's the state of our nation it's pretty bad, $17 trillion debt. I'm guessing 99.9% .9 of the people watching this video right now struggle with this suggestion for a success. So I have to give myself a pretty low score on this one. I just do. Now there was a time in my marriage, we've been married 30 years, where when my husband went to school to become an accountant, we were newlyweds and I think he started about um, within a year of us getting married, we had our firstborn exactly one year after getting married. He was born uh, the day after our first anniversary, who's now our business partner. And I watched every penny. I created this little chart with my, you know, ruled paper. And Brian had to account for every expenditure, a pack of gum, the bus fare, every penny was accounted for and we did not overspend. We lived on such a little, little salary, but we lived within our means and we were happy. By the way, we were happy. And we, we lived in a upstairs duplex. Um, he caught the bus, we had one car and we were happy. Kind of interesting. I don't think we're so happy, our country, and uh, all the individuals who collectively add up to creating this whole debt load that we have. That's not just indicative of our government overspending, but the people at large, our citizenry, and we're not happy as a result. No, we're fearful, like having our head on the chopping block, block because of this. So you go ahead and comment, rate yourself, how you feel you fit in this department. Um, it'll be interesting to see. So I would concur this is definitely right there up at the top, a very significant suggestion for success. All right, I'll see you in video 10. Talk soon.